Hello everyone, this is Neil Desai with Elasticsearch, and today we're going to be going over Windows Event Logging with WinLogB. If we look at a Windows Event Viewer, we can see that we have our typical application log, security, and system log. These are things that are very familiar to most system admins who have been working since the Windows NT days, Windows 2000 days. But if we look at a current operating system, we're looking at significantly more amount of logs. If I expand out these couple of folders here, we'll see how many more logs I have available to me. All of these logs are done in the Windows event log formatted style, which means I can get them with WinLogB. And it's not that I want to get them all of them, but I want to be able to understand what is available to me so I can make a conscious decision on which ones to get and which ones to leave behind. If I want to get some more detail, we're going to go over to a PowerShell prompt over here. So I ran this command over here to enumerate exactly how many different Windows event log files do I have available. And it turns out on my system, I have 414. Again, that's a lot of different logs and we don't want all of them, but I want to know which ones I can get. So I want to look for anything related to PowerShell, WMI, and Sysmon, because from a security perspective, these are the logs that I want to get into uh, when LogBeat to send to Elasticsearch, along with my system security and application log. So I ran another command over here, and I'm looking specifically again for my PowerShell, my WMI, and Sysmon events. And so it gave me all the specific files that match any of those. So if we notice, I have more than one just PowerShell event. We have our high level PowerShell event. I have a PowerShell admin log and I also have an operational log. I have my sysmon log and I have my WMI log. All I have to do is take this, highlight it, copy and paste it into my winlogbeat.yml file and that's all that's needed for the configuration. So if we look at my current configuration, we'll see that I've got my sys security, system and application logs. Now, like we've seen before, these are the same logs that we saw from that PowerShell prompt. Once I save this, all I have to do is restart it and all those logs will automatically start coming back into my system. If we go over to my cloud instance where I'm sending all this data to, we can see I've already filtered for the host name for N6, which is the host I was working on in my lab. We can see over here that I have events coming in in real time for those particular systems. And if I go over to visualize, I can see that I have my security logs coming in and that's the majority of them. I do have some PowerShell logs, some Sysmon, a uh, different type of PowerShell logs, my application system and WMI logs. It's that easy for us to bring these types of logs back into an Elasticsearch system. I hope you found this information enjoyable and informative.